Texas, number five, Jordan Wilson. At center, a 6'9", Salvamore out of Beverly Hills High, number 15, Kyle Young. At shooting guard, a 6'3", freshman out of Lompoc, number 22, Leandro Knight. And finally, at power forward, wearing number 24 from Atlanta, Georgia, Marcos Harris. And now we'd like to introduce the coaching staff and administration for the East Los Angeles Huskies. The head coach, Mr. John Mosley. Assistant coaches, Kenneth Hunter, Frankie Aguilar, Paul Kramer, your athletic director, Bobby Godinez, Dean Ming Lamb, and President Marvin Martinez. Six door south of our auto river side, number three And the two guard slot at six three south of our auto river side, number five the three guard side, a six two south of our auto LA tab, number twelve, Douglas Henderson. And at forward, a six eight south of our Auto West Point and LA Redbacks, number 23, Leonard Cardinale. And at the goal center, 6 to number 9, on the other side, number 35, Solomon Hines. Okay, we are ready to go. Men's competition, round number 2. And we are underway here. Coming to you from East LA College, the E Arena in blue and white, Santa Monica Corsairs. Oh, beautiful. Three point shot put in by Teddy Parham. First shot of the game, three points just like that. East LA College Huskies, here we go. Number three, Alec Hickman. Number 11, Deshaun Heiler. And number 12, Darius uh, Henderson. 23, Babaco, Deion Bain. Here we go the other way. Oh, and a layup. Quick up and down the court they come. That was number 15. That was Kyle Young. Four, five, nothing. Rebound taken by Blue and White, Santa Monica College Corsairs. Closing guard account. There's five seconds of correct call there by the official. Again, three-man crew. Number 23 for the Huskies. He'll be inbounding it. As Baba Carr, Tiam Bain. And number 35, Solomon Hunt. Starting lineups for both teams. The East LA College Huskies in white. Green trim. Or green numbers and the green and black trim. 
Diambe and he goes it over, sends it over there to Hunt. Dribble drive. Hunt gets the man up off the ground and he draws the foul. Yeah, he's gonna pick up two free throws on the attempt. Okay, Solomon Hunt looking to cut the lead now. It's five nothing. Two possessions for Santa Monica and two scores. Huskies with Hunt's free throws, good. Two 20 minute halves in the NC2A men's college regulation time frame. Uh, here comes the second. Hunt takes a couple of dribbles for rhythm, sends it up there. Oh, it's too hard off the backboard. Quickly into the front court. Dribble drive on his way up was number five. That was Jordan Wilson rejected nicely by the Huskies. Number 12's got it. Oh, beautiful. Number three. And there is his first basket of the game for Hickman. Henderson also involved in that play on the rebound coming the other way. And there's Parham being picked up by Hickman. Alec, his first name, A-L-E-C. 17.55 left in the first half. Oh, ball's going to be dribbled out of bounds, a turnover. Five to three now. In favor of Santa Monica. Ball comes in, number 12, he's got it. He's going to bring it up court. That's Henderson, Darius, his first name. Henderson, Hunt. Look, Hunt looking for a back door. Down it is to Bamba Kane. Bamba Kane going up with the left hand. Good. Diambane. Okay, I, I'll correct myself. Very, very tight man to man. Oh, nicely. Double team. Ball's on the floor. Oh. And it is fast and furious. Everybody wants a piece of that rock. Just underway here within the first three minutes of the game. And we're seeing the rhythm and the flow going backwards and forwards, up and down. Windshield wiper type of basketball. Fast break at its best. Here we go. That's Parham with the ball. Parham picked up by Heiler, number 11. Hunt pops out double team. Oh, uh, turnover. Little too far. That was Wilson. Jordan gets credit for that turnover. Passes way, way over his head, over the receiver's head. Good crowd here on hand tonight at the E Arena. And Henderson has it. 16.58 left in the first half. Heiler around the screen. Heiler takes a three point shot. Little too hard. And it's going to be out of bounds, ruled, going off Elac. Huskies in white with green. Heiler with the pink shoes can, can easily be spotted on the court. Parham, good matchup there. Wilson, yeah, he's picked up by Hickman. Oh, Kyle Young with it, number 15. Goes over to his wingman. Block. Good shot. Blocked by Hunt, but they get it back. Ball was in the air, and it came down to Santa Monica. And now shot clock. Oh, good defense all the way around. The Huskies playing gritty defense already here. Henderson now is going to walk it up in. No, trot it into the front court. Picked up by Parham. Over it goes to Hunt. Hunt on a dribble drive. Oh, lays it off to his teammate. Tiambrain, Tiambrain. And he gets credit for the bucket. Four points quickly for Babakar Tiambrain. Seven to five in favor of the, the Huskies. Hyder's on Parham. He goes around him on screen. Parham's up in the air, draws contact. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Teddy Parham, three points in the game. 
And Heiner again credited for the foul. Two shots coming up for number one, Teddy Farnham, Santa Monica. First free throw is good. Here comes the second free throw now. Looking to tie the score at seven. Oh, in and out. Hunt with the rebound, team rebound. We go the other way. Henderson looks for Heiler off the pick. Heiler back. Comes out. Three-pointer. Uh, Hickman drops in the first three-pointer for him. He's got five points in the game here unofficially. As we keep score for East LA Sports Scene Productions here up at the midcourt press booth. 15 to 20 left, and it's 10 to 6 in favor of the Huskies. Ball's brought in play. Here is Henderson. Darius, first name. Heiler. Hunt. Solomon's the first name. Left handed dribble. Oh, nearly picked from behind by number five, and that was Young. Check that, Jordan Wilson. Number 11 comes in. Lucas Zeman, Z-E-M-E-N. Elak with the ball. Henderson, dribble drive. Oh, shoots it a little too hard, hit the back of the rim. Heiler trying to run it down, and they're gonna claim that he's the last player to touch it. But uh, Darius Henderson wants that shot back. He normally will make all those. Here we go now, Henderson. Guardy number 22 is into the game now. That's Knight. Oh, with the body, goes up. That was Baba K. Baba K. Diambane, six points on a layup, 12 to six. Knight, number 22 inserted into the game. Uh, here's Jordan Wilson, number five. Cross courts, it goes over to Zeman. Oh, stolen. Good heads up play there. Number three, that's Hickman. Heiler. Looking for Henderson. Oh, he's in the claim, the referee. Trail referee claims that the toe hit the line. And it looks like there's gonna be a timeout taken on the court. And let's see who they charge that to. They're looking to Elac and Coach John Mosley. 30-second timeout to Santa Monica. Okay, and they're going to give a 30-second timeout to Santa Monica. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try and give you some information about the Huskies. And the starting lineup, Alec Hickman is averaging 11.1 points per game. Deshaun Heiler is at 10.8. Darius Henderson is 7.1. And heading down to the big man, Babakar Tiambe, 9.1. And Solomon Hunt, number 35, 10.1. So good team statistics there for the Huskies. They're back to the action. And there is number five, Kelly. Go check that Wilson. Shot. Ball batted around. And here we go the other way. Oh, good reverse pivot. Hickman wants that back. Wants a leash on that one. Or Yo-Yo so he could bring it back. He would, would have easily scored on that. Okay, into the front court. Number five is Jordan Wilson. Oh, dump down pass. Thrown in there by number 22, Leandro Knight. Nobody there to catch it. Turnover. Number 24 now comes in. 24 is going to come in for the Huskies. And that's going to be Jermaine Small Camacho. Number one also is in Lavelle Ziegler. Oh, Camacho shot, no good. Rebound to Santa Monica. 
Dribble drive in the lane. Oh, my goodness. Last hit by Santa Monica. 13 minutes and 19 seconds left in the first half. Six-point lead for the Huskies. They're going 12 to 6. Also into the game, number four is Abdul Ma for the Huskies. So both teams getting uh, substitutions in. There's Heiler. And Malik Muhammad, number 33, a big man, also in the game for Elak. Zone defense by Santa Monica. You can see easily it's a 2-1-2. Two, two. Pass knocked, knocked away. Oh, turn around by Camacho, no good. And rebound up. It comes for Santa Monica. 21 into the game. That's uh, Chaston Moton. Dump down pass. Oh, easy shot. That was Luca Zeman. Then a foul after the shot. So into the game here for the Santa Monica Corsairs, number 21, Chastine Mouton. He's out of Houston, Texas. He's a freshman. Number 11, we gave him Lucas Zeman, or Zeman, Village Christian, 6'8", sophomore. Number 23, Leandro Knight, he's 6'3", 200 pounds, out of Lompoc. And number 12, is in there for Santa Monica. Okay, number one, Lavelle Ziegler. Over here comes to Ba Abdul is his first name. He, he, Husky's moving the ball around. Inside it goes. Oh, good hands in there. That was number 23. Eli DeGrate, D-E-G-R-A-T-E. -E, stripped it away. He's into the game now. Zeman, number 11, gives it up here on top. To Hunley, Hunley takes a shot, tip in by Zeman, no good, rebound. That was 12, Henderson. Picks it up. 11.45, 12 to six. On the wing it goes to Ziegler, back it comes to Ba. Ba fakes his man towards the baseline. Oh, uh, they're gonna call traveling. Uh, Jermaine Small Camacho, hyphenated name, number 24 for East LA. Okay, we'll give you some more data on each of the players as we move through here. Okay. There's Moton, M O U T O N, behind the back dribble. Gets it over here, too. This big man, number 12. Dribble drive. Number 12, Marcus Harris. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Huskies. Oh, shot taken. Small Camacho might have deflected that on the way up. No, they're going to call a foul. They're going to call blocking. Well, it's going to be ruled against Darius Henderson. And number three, Deshaun. D-A-I-S-O-N-E, Hughes, and he makes his first. Number three, Hughes, ready for a second. Spins it up, sends it in, good. 12-8, favor of Elak and the Huskies. 11.05 left in the half. Ball deep in the corner, brings it back out to number four. That was Ba, B-A-H. Ba takes a three-point shot, no good. Oh, here we go the other way. Quickly into the front court. Oh, Santa Monica, that was DeGrate who brought it up. Over here comes the 21. Moton, Moton goes to Marcus Harris. Turn around, eight-foot jumper, no good. Ball last touched by Santa Monica. Three fouls on the home team, the Elac Huskies, and two fouls against the visiting Santa Monica Corsairs. 10.35 left in the half. Replacing number four, 
Okay, coming into the game for the Huskies, 33. He's going to take it out. That's Malik Mohammed. He's a center. Here it comes. Quickly. Ziegler, number one. Hick Hickman, number three. Hickman bounces it into Mohammed. Mohammed down low, turns around for a jump shot. No good, too hard. And DeGrate comes up with the rebound and brings it over here to number 21. That's a Motan. It's over on the right wing now. Motan over to Harris, way up on top. Harris on a dribble drive, down the middle, kicks it out to his wing. Zeman, white headband on him. Puts up a two-pointer, no good, rebound, fought for it. And coming up with it, number three was Dazon Hughes, D-A-I-S-O-N-E. There's Motan, over here comes the Hughes, again. In the corner, oh, they're gonna call. Off ball foul there, offensive team uh, against Santa Monica. They're gonna whistle the foul against Lucas Zeman. He's six eight, sophomore. Head coach John Mosley doing very well with the men's program here at East LA Community College. And since his takeover as the head coach, nothing but playoff appearances for the minimum of at least the last six, maybe seven years now. 9.25 left in the half. Ziegler, Lavelle's his first name and he gets it to go. Two points, Ziegler. First points of the game. Here we go, Motan. Around the pick by Wilson. Motan still in control, puts it up. Good. Motan. 14 to 10, four point lead for Elak. Oh, give and go. Oh, slam dunk. Number 32, Rodney A.G. Rodney A.G. give him two. Hey, nice give and go there. Good teamwork. Oh, ball batted away by Hunt. Here we go the other way. Beautiful defensive play. Give and go to the hoops, no foul. You go the other way, fast and furious. Oh, and then laying it in goes Hughes. Days on Hughes. Putting it up and in for Santa Monica, 16 to 12. Eight oh eight left, and then A.G. Again, A.G. gets another basket. Four points in the game for A.G. 7.55 left in the first half. Two 20-minute halves and NC2A rules. DeGrate, number 23, has it nearly stripped away. Kicks it back out to his wingman. That was number three. Hughes took the shot. Oh, there's going to be a lane, a line violation against the Huskies. A substitution now coming back in for Elak is going to be number 11, Deshaun Heiler. Some good minutes there for the East Elak subs and the reserves. Give me some points and some good playing time there. Parham back in the game, number one. Picked up by Henderson, that's a good matchup. Oh, ball nearly knocked away. Baseline. Oh, up and there you go, Jordan Wilson gets it, Heiler. And a three-pointer in and out, and Renault rattles in. Bang, bang, bang. And Heiler gets credit for his first three-point shot of the game. And that's going to move the score to 21 to 14. And uh, that's going to whistle, call a timeout. And we'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene Productions coverage of the East LA College men's basketball program. Second round in the Southern California Regional Playoffs under the 3C2A. The California Community College Athletic Association. 
Okay, whistle blows, sounding resumption of play. Uh, here comes Santa Monica now. That's Teddy Parham, number one, point guard. Try, trying to find an opening there to penetrate. Wilson, Wilson with the ball. Oh, looks like there's going to be a violation of some type. And the referee signals the awarding of the ball to the Huskies. 6.45 left in the half. Henderson, along with Hunt, number 35, he's got the ball now. Deep in the corner it goes for jump shot. Good, Hickman. Second three-pointer of the game, eight points in the contest thus far for Alec Hickman. He's a starter for Coach John Mosley. Parham, Parham, bullying his way through. The defender certainly right in front of him. And they're gonna rule a foul. Whistled against Hiley. So Parham. Okay, in control of the rock. Okay, substitutions. Leandro Knight, he's a starter. Substitution now. Okay, Mark Boland, number 22. And for the Huskies, Mark Boland. Take a look at him now. Wilson. Double team, but way up on top. Shot taken. Oh, there's going to be a foul whistle from the, the slot official. Uh, he says that he correctly whistled against a NELAC player who fouled the shooter in the act of shooting, Leandro Knight. 10 point spread, 24 14. Shots. Knight takes his first free throw. Good. Swish. First point of the game for him. Second free throw coming. Perfect. Two for two. Here we go. Elac the other way in white with green. 24-16 coming up on the six minute mark in the first half. A.G. Hunt up on top. Henderson, A.G. Bolin. Bolin brings it out to the top to Henderson again. Back to Bolin. Oh, Bolin loses it, but A.G.'s there to pick it up. Cutting across, Hickman. Hunt wants to put it up. Oh, and he's gonna be stripped from behind. But there's contact. They're gonna call him, call him for roofing over breaking the the, the line of verticality, the 90 degree line. And Hunt will come to the free throw line to shoot two. 544 left, clock stops. Hunt with one point in the game thus far. Uh, misses badly. Here comes the second free throw. Too hard, way off the back of the, of the rim. Uh, here comes Santa Monica, the Corsairs. Knight puts it up. It's a wild hook from five feet out. Everybody wants a piece of the ball. Putting back up is number 15. He'll get credit. Kyle Young. 24-18, six-point lead, 5.20 left in the first half. Men's second round playoff game here. Regional playoff. Winner will move on for next week. Bowling, three-point shot, no good. Ball goes way out for the rebound. And there's Wilson. Wilson tries to go around his man, down the middle. Finds over here Parham. Too hard for the three-point shot. Hunt. Oh, stolen by Rodney Agee. 32 on his jersey. Henderson stops. He could have penetrated. Came back out. Stops for his jump shot. Good. Darius Henderson. First points of the game. 
26-18, and we say unofficially first two points. Parham, pace is still very mellow, very good, very competitive, good defense. Oh, and Holdy foul against Boland. Referee reports the foul. Substitutions will come in for Elac. Let's see who goes out. AG is replaced by number 23, Bob Bacar, Tiam Bain. And number one comes in, Lavelle Ziegler. Ball dumped down there for Kyle Young, and he put it up but drew the foul. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul's going to be addressed to, charged to Solomon Hunt. Two shots coming up for number 15, Kyle Young of Corsairs. Big free throws here. Every point attempt in, 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 in regional playoffs is huge. First is good by Young. Number 33, Malik Mohammed, replacing Solomon. Malik Mohammed comes in. He's going to give uh, Hunt. A blow here. Santa Monica substitution, number 21. And 21 comes Motown. back in. Replacing Teddy Bardo. Motown in, M-O-U-T-O-N. Young for a second. Puts it up. Good. Two for four in terms of free throws for Kyle Young. 421 left. Six point lead, 26-20. Huskies with the ball. There's Hickman. Another three pointer for Hickman. It's gonna be short. And bringing the ball off the rebound is Motown. Motown, guarded by Hickman. Closely guarded, you gotta be careful with that. Motown trying to dribble, puts it up and misses, but cleaning it up is Young. He gets credit for being there at the right place at the right time. 26-22, four point lead. Here we go, dribble drive. Oh, on the shot. Baba Carr. And that is Tiambain. He's a sophomore. Averaging 9.1s again. Point, 9.1 points per game. And he's gonna go to the line shooting two. Six points thus far in the game for Tiambe. 338 left in the first half. Oh, it's going to be short. Babacar, B A B A C A R, Tiambain, T H I O M B A N E. Played in 28 games thus far this season, averaging 9.1 .1 points per game. Oh, an air ball. Or does it draw iron, but it's very, very short. Yeah, here we go now. Live ball in play. Motown. M-O-U-T-O-N. Oh, an attempted dunk by Young, but met at the rim. And Emmett has he lifted off by number 33 with a beautiful defensive play, Malik Mohammed. So great anticipation there by Mohammed. And Young is put back to the free throw line. And he misses the first. Good rim protection there by Mohammed. Big, big back line play there by the big men. You like to see those types of opportunities where you met at the summit. But this time a foul was called. 3.30 left. Second free throw, no good. And we're going to go the other way. Bodies were on the floor there. Substitution, Substitution there by, with the buzzer being rung by the scoring table. And as a substitution, Wilson goes out. And number two will come in, uh, Makai Kimball. Number two. There he is picking up number one, Ziegler Lavelle. Around the screen. Oh, he's going to lose the control. 
Oh, here comes Mouton. Mouton, oh, it goes into the uh, defensive player and draws the foul. Good thinking there. He drew the foul on Babakar Tiambane. And Chastine Mouton from Dulles High School, hometown of Houston, Texas. Some of the players in the game here for Santa Monica, number 22, Leandro Knight, 6'3", 200 from Lompoc, California, out of Cabrillo High School. Number 15 is Kyle Young, he's from Beverly Hills High School, 6'9", sophomore, 209 pounds. And we have number 12, or Marcus Harris, also used number 24, 6'8", 207 pounds, from Riverdale, Georgia, and residing now in Santa Monica, California. So those are the five players for the Santa Monica Corsairs. And when we, when we resume play, Mouton will attempt two free throws, trying to cut the lead from six to four. 26-22. Nine team fouls on Elac, five team fouls on Santa Monica. Here's the first for Mouton. It's good. Second free throw is good. Here we go now. Henderson, double team in the backcourt. Into the front court. Here they come. That's your main small Camacho been put back into the game around and picked by him from 24. Ziegler brings it over here to Henderson. 26-24, 249 left. Henderson, left-handed dribble, stops, pivots. Closely guarded call, lets it go, and there is an air ball. Shot clock violation will not count. Good defense there by the Corsairs. Okay, here we come into the front court. And around. Camacho, that was number 22, Knight. Oh, two-pointer. They're going to give a two-pointer to number two. And that was Makai Kimball. Here we go. Small Camacho. Henderson, scores tied, 26-26. Henderson in the lane. Oh, puts up an eight-footer. Looked like he might have been fouled short. We go the other way. And the ball is going to be going to Elac. White ball rules the official on a bad pass. Substitution now for both teams. And the shot higher also in the ball game for Elac. 153, the clock is stopped. Okay, coming in now. We're going to see Abdul Ba, B A H, number four. Over here to small hyphen Camacho. Jermaine's his first name, picked up there by Zeman, Z E M E N. Gives the ball over here to Ba, B A H. Abdul's his first name. Back door to Heiler. Oh, puts, puts it up off the backboard for the spin. Didn't have the English. Great feed there on the back door. Cut. From Ba, he saw Heiler. And getting the rebound there is Malik, Malik Muhammad. And he's going to shoot two free throws. Trying to give the Huskies the lead back. Unofficially, no points in the game thus far. Substitution, Wilson's going to give a Zeman a break. Mohammed now steps to the line. 
Second free throw, in and out. Wilson with the rebound, nobody down, down court. Good fake, and 22 will get the basket for the lead. That was the Andrew Knight with the beautiful down court pass. 117 left. High, lots of high level pressure way up in the front court. Small Camacho, left-handed dribble, stops. Tries to dump it into Malik Muhammad. Puts it up off the backboard and good. He worked his way in there and got it to go. First points of the game and the score is tied now, 28. 45 seconds left, shot clock says 23. Oh, and a shot and a foul on the dribble drive. Let's see, going stepping up to the line will be Chastain Mouton. And here he comes back to the line. And he misses the first free throw. Clock stop with 39.4 seconds left. Oh, second one no good. Score stays tied. Missed the two. Bob, Bob gets up here to Small Camacho. Jermaine puts it up a jump shot. Good. All alone had no other choice. First points of the game on a 15-foot jump shot straight ahead from the free throw line. 20 seconds left. There's Mouton. Picked up by Bob, B-A-H. Cross it comes to Wilson, dribble drive. Puts it up, misses. Rebound, Mohamed. Controls it. And now a foul is going to be whistled. It's going to go against number 22, Leandro Knight. Oh, check that. They're going to rule it. It went against Jordan Wilson. And uh, that is going to put the Huskies back at the free throw line due to the one and one condition now that Santa Monica finds himself in with 17 fouls. A regular bonus shot, one and one. You know, Hamid here coming back for more free throws. He's missed his first two. One and one, he's gonna need to make the first to get the second, 3.1 seconds left. Elak leads by two, 30 to 28. Free throws up, good. He gets the bonus. Here comes the second. And it's good. 32, 28, four point lead, 3.2 seconds left in the half. They won't get it off, it will not count. Will not count, they had plenty of time, but he couldn't get the shot off correctly. And uh, that was a true run and gun, up-tempo style basketball game that we've seen by two of the South Coast Conference uh, team won the South Coast Conference, ELAC, and the Western State Conference, Santa Monica Corsairs, giving it the best that they have here. And we will leave the halftime with the score 32 28 in favor of East LA College. This is East LA Sports News coverage of the round two playoffs in the South or Southern California Regional Playoffs, round two. We'll be back after the halftime intermission. Okay, and we are back, ready to rock and roll. And if we saw the first half with some very, very, uh, uh, how would you call it, some great play, some good, great athleticism of both teams, let's see what happens now because this is the do or die half for one of these two teams. The winner moves on to the round three, the loser will call it a season and get ready for next year. On the dribble drive to the basket. Babacar, oh, stolen. Highly gets it back. 
So another opportunity to attack the basket. Henderson with it. Henderson now picked up by his defender, number 21. And here's Hickman, Alec, his first name, ALEC, takes a three-pointer. Too hard, ball fought for, touched last by Elac. The ball will be going out of bounds to Santa Monica. Let's see who's on the floor here now for the head coach at Santa Monica. We see number 21, that's a Cheston Mouton. He's a guard. And he will be zeroed in on by Darius Henderson, number 12 from East LA College. Starting lineup the same way they go and for Elac, same way they went in the first half. Oh, push off. Referee's letting him play. Moton, oh my goodness. What a play. Oh, big shot there on a dribble drive, twisting and put it off the backboard. Highly steps back for a jumper, looked good. Short. Kyle Young with the rebound. Here we go the other way, 18.35 left in the, in the game. Two 20 minute halves for NC2A men. Marcus Harris, dribble drive, loses it. And then the lead referee asks his partner for a better opinion and he says yes, last hit by Santa Monica. Henderson, double team in the backcourt. So full court pressure applied there by Mouton on Henderson, gets around a pick. Henderson keeps going, puts it up with the left hand, good. Beautiful take and dribble drive by Henderson. Unofficially four points in the game on two field goals. Jump shot and a layup. Mouton hounded by Henderson. Goes around a pick. Oh, pass thrown to no one underneath. And it looks like the point guard was, was hoping that his player would cut, do a backdoor cut, or zig in and zig out. Zeman now into the game, number 11. Highly jump steps out to the top and dribble drive, puts it up. Oh, misses, no contact, I mean, no foul. Lots of contact though. Oh, Jordan Wilson, hello. Slam dunk. We go the other way now, here comes Elac. Hickman. Oh, there's going to be a push underneath. Foul's going to be called against number 22, Leandro Knight. Follows on number 22, Leandro Knight. Going to the line will be Alec Hickman. Two-point lead for the Huskies, 34-32. Hickman, nice shot, taking his time, focusing on the rim, bending the knees and then pushing the shot to the correct arc. And the result, a made free throw. Here comes the second shot. And, oh, it gets a shooter's touch. Shooter's roll. 36-32, four-point lead. Parham gets it into the front court. Oh, nice shot. Kyle Young puts it up off the rebound. Good defense. He caused it to miss the first shot. Kyle Young. Behind the back dribble by Hunt. Lots of reaching, lots of grabbing by the defense. Referees are letting him play. Highly over here it comes to Tiambe. Uh, oh, good reverse pivot. Babacar Tiambe scores. Eighth point unofficially in the game. Wilson. Parham. Too hard. Coming up with the rebound is Kelly. Young. Oh, Parham throws up a prayer. Knight tries to draw the foul. And he does. Out of control. And they're going to rule that Elac. Blocked him on the shot. 
So Leandro Knight. Two shots coming up for number 22, Leandro Knight of Santa Monica. First one is no good. Okay, coming out is um, Tiam Bain and Henderson coming in. Number 32. That's a Rodney A.G. Quickly now. Missed the second free throw. A.G. hop step to the basket. Took one bounce for rhythm and went up for the attempt. And he got fouled. Four points in the game and officially for Rodney A.G. A.G. taking his time, bends the knees a little bit and drops it in. Free throws play an all important part in every game. They're all very, very crucial to the final score and in any scoring drive. A.G. now for his second five-point lead now, 39-34. Second, oh, rattles in and out. Parham with the rebound or from, let's see, that was a team rebound that went to Marcus Harris. And Parham has it now, over to the left side. Parham to the right side with Wilson. Wilson looking for Marcus Harris, has it out on the perimeter. Puts it up, oh, and he draws a foul on A.G. As soon as he took that first step and got by the defender, we knew what Harris was going to do with it, and he drew the foul, so he'll go to the line shooting a pair. So Harris been quiet all night, unofficially no points in the game. Number 12 on his jersey. First free throws, no good. Marcus Harris, again, 6'8", coming out of Riverdale, Georgia, and currently resides in Santa Monica. Second free throw. Up, and oh, it got it to drop in. Shooter's touch. Full court press now by Santa Monica. Highly over here, A.G. A.G. double team. Oh, he throws it up in the air. Oh, here's Hickman. Inside it goes. Lost by Hunt. We go the other way. Knight. A.G. on him. Cross court, it comes to Parham. Parham on a dribble, he loses it. He got dribbled off of the foot of the defender. LaShawn highly misses from five feet out. Oh, going back. All alone is Parham. Oh, nice move, Teddy Parham. Sixth point of the game, opened the game with a three-point shot, made it one free throw in first half, and then hits that uh, driving layup for two at 15.05 left in the game. Ziegler playing catch over here with Hickman. Hickman on a dribble drive. A.G. stays with possession. Oh, it's batted away. Good defense there. That was by Harris. Harris up now, throws it up. Oh, my goodness. Down low, the battle of the big men. Blocking foul. And the foul is going to be charged against Ziegler. Lavelle is first name. Marcus Harris comes back to the free throw line. Made one out of two last time. Harris's first free throws up. It's good, two in a row. Substitutions now. Hickman comes out. Ba takes his place and Muhammad comes in for Number 35, Solomon Hunt. Second free throw now for Harris. Free throws up, short. 
So he makes one out of two on both attempts, two out of four in total. Okay, back to the action here. 14-38 left, one point lead for Elac. The Huskies on top by one, 39-38. Out, there it is, Abdul. Bah, B-A-H, a lot of pressure in the backcourt. Bah breaks, it, gets it up over the timeline within the 10 second penalty phase. Deshaun Hiley and dribble drive, kicks it out, A.G. Looks like he got it, might have, oh, did not get away with the travel. There he did the bunny hop and the pee patch, as Chick Hearn would say. Turnover against Elac. Okay, here comes Mouton. Oh, Mouton has to go through his legs, gets it back. Ba with him. Okay, ball's on the left side of the court. Kimball puts up a three. Oh, big shot there. Here we go the other way now. Big shot there by the reserve. 41-39 in favor of Santa Monica. First time we've seen the Corsairs with the lead. Ba gives it over here. And there's a foul, the whistle sounds before the shot. Lots of noise going on here inside the E Arena, E Dome. 13.42 left. Here we go now with the inbound pass. Throwing up high, it goes to Muhammad. Muhammad's back to the basket, backing up. Has to throw it back out to one of his players. Ba with it. Around a pick by Young. Shot taken, no good. Muhammad gives it over here to Ba again. Hiley with it. Hiley in the pink shoes. Shot clock running down to 13. Coach Mosley giving him the direction of how to work it. Muhammad gets the rebound. Another shot clock. 13 minutes left even in the game. Ba with it. Over here back it goes to Hiley. Hyler, excuse her. Ba with it. Shot clock, 13 seconds. Ba with a crossover dribble. Oh, has it batted away. Here comes Mutan. Quickly. Oh, the big hero step. And Mouton, give him two points for that. Another two points, 43-39. And now the Corsairs, adrenaline rising to the top. Coach Mosley asking the referees for some explanations. Coach Mosley asking about a particular situation. There you see him talking to the referees. And within a span of a minute, the Corsairs overtake the Huskies and lead them now by four points, 43-39 with 12.27 left. We'll be back in a moment with more of East LA Sports Scene Productions of ELAC Men's Basketball. Okay. Here we go now. Deion Bain inbounds a pass. And they're gonna say, oh, on the dribble drive that Heiler lost it off of his foot. Ball awarded to Santa Monica with 12.25 left. There's Harris inbounds it over here to Mouton. Chastin, C-H-S-T-I-N, first name. Clock running now, 12 minutes and 15 seconds. Kimball, number two, Makai is first name. Three-point specialist. Almost wanted to shoot it, but Mouton puts up a three-pointer. Mouton, the man with a hot hand. Seven quick points here. 46-39, seven-point lead. 
for Santa Monica. Huskies now trying to work it around here for a good shot. Ba, oh, he got tripled. He got tripped. He got tripped. Oh, they're going to rule it a push, but a trip. And number two into the ball game for Elac. That's Nick Nick Hart. And Lavelle Sigler comes in number one. So Coach Mosley looking for another rotation here to maybe jumpstart the East. The, the Huskies run here. They've been outscored 13 to 7. There's a foul reaching in. And they're going to assess the foul against Kyle Young. And here is Solomon Hunt now looking to draw the lead down to five should he make both free throws. Hunt one for four at the line thus far. But the momentum certainly has changed and going in favor of Santa Monica. Still plenty of time left in the game though. 11.41 to go. Uh, Hunt has, gets it to backspin and roll itself in. Six point lead now, 46 to 40. Comes the second free throw for Solomon. Free throws up. Oh, too hard. And last hit by Elak on the ball as it traveled the distance to go out of bounds on the sideline. Full court pressure here in the backcourt by the Huskies. Mouton. Oh, gets it over here to the great number 23. Eli's his first name. Ball's in the hands of Chastine Mouton, M-O-U-T-O-N. Goes around Ziegler, penetrates into the key. Puts it up off the backboard, good. Justin Mouton taking control of the offensive agenda here for the Corsairs. Abdul Ba with the ball, number four. Looking for Solomon Hunt inside. Hunt, dribble drive, spins, reverse pivots. Puts it off the backboard, no good. Bamba Kane was there. But ball's blocked out, knocked out of bounds. Babacar Diambane, Diambane. And it's swatted out of bounds by Santa Monica. So Elac ball with 10.55 left, 48 to 40. And the temperature starts to rise here inside of the E Dome, E Arena. Hart, over it goes to Ba, B A H, Abdul. Parham picking up Ba. Ba's looking inside, back up to Hart. Hart, left hand dribble on the way to the basket, puts his man up in the air on a fake. Takes a shot, but it's blocked. He had no way of getting the ball up, there's no seam. Wilson puts it up and draws the foul. Shot a left handed lay in, and there was plenty of contact on the way up. And Wilson will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Fouled in the act of shooting by Solomon Hunt. Uh, Wilson does not get it to go. Number 11, Deshaun Hyler, replacing number two, Nick Hart. Wilson unofficially with four points in the game. Muhammad goes in for Hunt. Heiler goes in for Lavelle. Ziegler, rebound. Heiler, he's got it. Watch out from behind. Gets it into the front court. Contact, degrades all over Heiler. Ba has it. Ba around and screen by Tiambane. Heiler takes a three-point shot, good. Deshaun Heiler, second three-pointer of the game, comes at a good time. And it cuts the lead to five at 48 to 43 with 10.06 left. There's a timeout called by Elac with 10.06 left in the game. Timeout taken by 
And while they take a timeout, East LA Sports Team Production is going to take their own timeout here, bringing you coverage of the Southern Southern California Regional second round playoff game here under the 3C2A tournament. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, whistle sounds. Here we are back to the action. Parham, double team. Oh, and the Huskies begging for a change of the call. Looked like Parham wanted to pass the ball behind his back because he was two teamed and there was no seam from the front side. So he would try to go backside, and luckily for him, it went off an East LA College player. Full court press. Here it comes. DeGreat has it back to Harris. Harris. Deambane. Deambane over there guarding Kimball. Barham had a look. Decided not to take it. Shot clock now in motion. Kimball over to Parham. Shot clock down to eight seconds. Oh, alley-oop. No good from Parham to Wilson. Didn't work. Ball thrown a little too high for him. Heiler, fresh off a three-point shot. Gets around the screen, puts up another one. Too hard, rebound, fought for. Bodies on the floor. Will there be a hell ball called? Two Huskies and one Corsair fighting for the ball. And let's see what the officials indicate here. Almost looks like they're debating whether there was a fumble, as in football. And they rule it a hell ball, jump ball. Arrows in favor of Santa Monica. So Kimball goes out. And 22 comes in, Leandro Knight. The referee is going to do some uh, housework there. And uh, clean up the wet area there in the key area. 921, 48 43 is our score. Second half. Timeouts left. Four for each team, and the team fouls for the Huskies are four, and the team fouls for the Corsairs, five. So that sets the table here as we get ready to come back for live action. There's a whistle deep in the backcourt. Wilson gets it over here to Parham. Par oh, Wilson. Tonight, back to Wilson up on top. Three guard offense up on top. Wilson tries to go through his men, puts it up, short. He was in traffic. And referee now rules that Santa Monica calls the ball to go out of bounds. Huskies ball in their own backcourt. Tiam Bain trying to get it in, finally gets it to, to Ba. And there's a foul, too much contact. Double team in there by Wilson and Parham. And it results in a foul. Ziegler, number one, comes in. That's Lavelle Ziegler. Averages 8.3 points per game. Tiambe inbounding the ball. Wasn't sure of himself. Nobody was open. Now he, he found Ba. Ba gets it across the timeline. Double team there. Be careful. Gets it over here to Tom Bain. Tom Bain goes up and he draws the foul. So Baba Carr, Tom Bain, using his length to penetrate and drew the foul, which is a good thing when the clock is stopped to try to put points up on the board. Always a good strategy to, to follow. And let's see, looking at uh, Babacar's uh, points here per game, 9.1. So nearly double digits as several ELAC players are averaging in double figures. Kyler with 10.8 and Hickman with 11.1. And following uh, them is Solomon Hunt with 10.1. Free throws up, good. Tiam Bain, let's see what he has here unofficially. 
We have him with seven points, three field goals and one free throw. One for three on free throws thus far. 17 fouls now on Santa Monica. That's going to put Elec in the bonus. Second free throw, no good. And a whistle sounds. Pushing foul over the back on Elac. Ziegler a little too aggressive on the rebound, trying to go for it. 48-44 is the score, four-point lead. Mouton, oh, nearly had it thrown, thrown out of bounds or taken away. Fell down as he passed it. Nonetheless, he's in control. Behind, double through the legs over here to Harris. Harris dribbling through his legs. Oh, almost had it stripped. And there's Mouton. And DeGreat gets up, comes up with the rebound. Knight, reverse. Oh, nicely saved. Henderson, be behind the back, Diambane. Ziegler, and he's gonna draw the foul. Doing the Euro step. And now, both teams unsettled here. Some of the adrenaline starting to hit the, the levels where they're gonna need to draw it back and bring it down. Really, really uh, contention, contentious here at this point in the game. Ziegler. Uh, he gets his first free throw of the game. Third point unofficially. Ziegler looking for his second free throw. Make it two for two. Eight, 12 left. And makes it. Two point lead, 48-46. Timeout's gonna be taken. And let's see who they give it to. Words may have been spoken there on that last play, but there's a timeout. And Santa Monica gets tagged with the timeout at eight minutes and 12 seconds. So things are getting very interesting here at the E Arena, home of the East LA College Huskies. And we'll be back in a moment after this break here. It's a timeout on the floor. Scoring the score show shows 48 to 46 in favor of Santa Monica. Okay, buzzer sounds. Here comes the whistle to put ball, the ball back in play. And the timeouts are over. Both teams had a rest. Let's see how they will do for the last eight minutes and 12 seconds. And now moving across the sideline, there it was Harris. He gets the ball back. He's big, big power forward. He can dribble. He's 6'8". Deion Bain guarding him. Mouton puts up a medium range jumper. Good. Nice looking shot there. 11 points here in the second half for Chastine Mouton. 7.50 left. Four point lead, 50 to 46. Shot taken by Diambe. No good. He brought it down from his hip. Uh, here is Knight. Okay, Harris. Dribble drive, stutters, puts it up over the backboard. No good. That's going to be a violation. The ball goes out of bounds. Still plenty of time here in the contest. And foul, reaching foul. Looks like there's going to be free throw time here for Elac. And Santa Monica not being careful of the foul situation. That's their ninth team foul. This is a one on one here. Ziegler going back to the line. And let's see. One on one. Ziegler on his last free throws was two free throws on a shooting foul. Here's a bonus one on one. Big, big free throw. Perfect. Gets his bonus. 50 to 47, three-point lead.
Here comes the second free throws, lefty. And that's good too. So he made three out of four. It's gonna give him seven points in the contest. Okay, Henderson checks out. Hickman comes in. So Hick Hickman, Ziegler, Mohammed, Hunt, and uh, Tiambe. And they're back in uh, their zone defense. Two, three. Look for Santa Monica now to chew up a lot of the shot clock. Mouton, over to Wilson. Kimball, jump shot straight away, knocks it down. Makai Kimball, seven points in the game for him. We go the other way. Muhammad brings it back out to Tiambane. Tiambane over here to number one. That was Ziegler. There's Hickman. Tiambane dumps it down inside to Solomon Hunt. Muhammad, dribble drive, puts it up and draws the foul. And one coming for Malik Muhammad. Big, big play there. An and one possibility. So 52 to 50. They move the scoreboard up. And Malik now will study the rim. And he'll be asked to go back to the free throw line by the official. And Knight, Knight comes in. And uh, he'll be taking out number three, Deshaun Hughes. Big free throw here for Muhammad. Inside, it's good. Drops it in. Three point play completed. One point lead for Santa Monica, 52 51. 6.42 left in the game. The winner moves on. Loser calls it a season. Coming to you from the campus of East Los Angeles Community College here in the heart of East Los Angeles, California. Santa Monica working it around. It goes to make tonight, puts up a jump hook, good, in the lane. Just threw it in from the hip, Leandro Knight. 54, 51, three point lead. Ziegler on the attack. Picked up by Kimball. Hickman, oh, nearly poked away there by Kimball. Inside it goes, Hunt, dribble drive to the basket, and he scores. Unofficially, four points for Solomon Hunt. Well underneath his points per game average. Mouton, Kimball, Makai is his first name. Wilson, Kimball, back out, it goes to Harris. Harris on a dribble. Takes it up on top. Knight puts up a, not an air ball, he drew the side of the basket, so he drew glass, nothing more than that. And with 520, here is Kimball. Check that, uh, Ziegler. Big men, kind of battling inside. There's Hunt. And Hunt, oh, spin dribble around his man and puts it in. And the referees now stepping in to calm things down as they look at Solomon Hunt. And on the spin dribble basket, he scores and gives Elak the lead back. But the Corsair is certainly upset about the no call because from our vantage point, you certainly saw the hand check on the spin, but three, ref three referees out there, they were looking at something else. Anyway, good play there. Play on, play the whistle. Elac leads 55-54. We'll be back after the break. This is East LA Sports Scene Productions. Okay, we're back to the action. And the Husky fans now rooting on the home team as well as Santa Monica, who's brought a nice turnout here in a road game. Both schools have spirit. Both schools have fight. And it could be going down to the wire here. Plenty of time left. 4.55. Mouton, the player of the game thus far for Santa Monica. Oh, Knight. Oh, blocked nicely by Hunt. He got a fingertip on it. Now double team. Tiambane, now check that. That was 
Muhammad, who pulled down that rebound and procured it and got it to his guard. Every possession now, the Huskies are going to have to protect it. Hunt puts it up. He's fouled. Solomon Hunt taking advantage of the opening there in the middle. And he will go to the line with 423 left and shoot two free throws. Hunt unofficially with six points. And as we mentioned, that's below his, his season average of 10.1. So here he goes. He might have a chance to reach it tonight. Hunt on his first free throw, takes a couple of dribbles for rhythm. And he clangs it in. Rim to rim, side to side. Nonetheless, it goes through and drops through the net. Two-point lead, 56-54. Hunt with the second free throw. Oh, this time it spins out. Reverse was, English was not there. Two-point lead for the Huskies. Mutan. Harris. 1-3-1 on the ELAC zone defense. Santa Monica brings it in to Wilson. Wilson dribble drive. Knight. Oh, found a seam. And drew the foul for the and one. Leandro Knight. Coming in as a reserve, and he's given the Corsairs a lift. Currently now with four points here in the second half. Score is tied. Knight looking to add to his total and give them the lead. Yes, he does. 57-56, four minutes even left in the game. Ziegler with the ball, protecting it. Coming into the front court, crosses over. Here comes to Alec Hickman, A-L-E-C, number three. Piambain, now they're trying to go inside now to Hunt. Oh, he's going to be pushed. Easy call there by the official as Marcus Harris had both hands on the big body. And now we're in the double bonus area. Solomon Hunt looking to tie the game with his first free throw. Should he make it? And let's see what he does. Dribbling, taking a deep breath, taking aim now, looking at the free throw, looking at the basket. Ooh. Just a bit too hard. He didn't get the benefit of that bouncing out and back in. Hunt looking to tie the game. Oh, in and out, heart break. Santa Monica with the ball. Here they come quickly into the front court. Kimball with the number two over to Mouton. 3.30 left in the game. Coming down to the wire. We're getting into the nitty gritty time here. Oh, Knight, looks like he got away with his travel. Oh, Tyler, watch out. Almost threw it away. Out of control there, but he regained his momentum. Over here comes to Hickman. And it goes to Muhammad. Oh, they're going to call a charging foul. Oh. And the referee out in the trail spot. Kali Muhammad for a player control foul. With 3.03 left. The referee right in front of the play there on the baseline. Measuring the, the play there. Had nothing on the call. Now there's a lull in the action here. The referees are going to talk about what's going on here. They're calling the foul against number 35. Coach Mosley very upset because the, the officials not sure 
of what number the player was that the foul was called against. There you see the three of them looking to talk things over. Uh, luckily, it's a dead ball, so they have time to reconfigure and reset the table, so to speak. Yes, we're correct there. We called it at he called it uh, on 33. Originally, it was Malik Muhammad, but for some reason, it may have been reported as 35, which would have been Solomon Hunt. That cost all the furor, and now it's been uh, settled down to, to a degree. Okay, here we go. Back to the action. Kimball. Down the far sideline he comes. Left-handed dribble. Knight. Throws it up, throws up a prayer, no good. And Knight hit the line, couldn't save it. Big break there for the, the Huskies. They'll have possession there in their own backcourt. Tiambain is with the ball here, 23, full court press by the Corsairs. Hunt comes back in, he's gonna take out Muhammad. Two fifty-two left in the contest. So one, two, two, and Heiler has it. Cross court, it comes to Hickman. Hickman comes through, gets it to his player, cutting down, and that was Solomon Hunt. Solomon Hunt gets credit on the assist from Hickman, and then right away another timeout called. So looking at the timeouts, we'll set the table here for you. The Huskies have four left, and now the Corsair is down to three. And the fouls, Elac has seven, which will put uh, Santa Monica in the bonus. And Santa Monica has ten, putting the Huskies in a double bonus, two-shot situation. So huge strategic timeout called here after that basket by Solomon Hunt. And that gives the, the Huskies the lead again at 58-57. So we have a nail biter, as they say, coming down the wire. And it will take good ball control, good possession skills, avoid the turnover, hit your free throws, and make all your easy layups or easy shots. So the East LA Sports Scene production crew here at Full Force tonight for the men's game. Eric Sarney doing all of the camera work, lead photographer. And we have Frank Lee Robles, one of our interns on East LA Sports Scene Productions, taking all of the digital photos. And yours truly, Rico Cabrera Sr., bringing you the play by play coverage of tonight's contest. Here we go. 240 left, getting down into the nitty gritty time. Harris over to Kimball, back to Harris. And Chastine Mouton, M-O-U-T-O-N, picked up by Henderson. It's a good matchup. Over here to Wilson, up on top. Back to Mouton. Harris trying to open himself up down low for an interior pass. Wilson. The A Little body. Shot. Oh. There's a foul whistle. And Wilson draws the foul where they say that Malik Muhammad might have hit him on the head. Looks like he insinuated that there was a head, a head shot. And that gives Wilson a chance for two free throws. Two minutes and 12 seconds left in the game. Wilson unofficially with four points. Missed his last two free throws. Oh, he makes this one clean swish. Okay, first one's good. 58-58. Solomon Hunt comes back in along with Hickman. So Coach Mosey substituting his and platooning his troops the best that he can, both for offensive and defensive purposes. Wilson, second free throws up. No good, rebound. Henderson 
Coming up on the two minute mark. Tie ball game, 58-58. Turned out to be a very, very good contest here at the junior college level, the CCCAA, California Community College Athletic Association. Southern California regional playoff game, men's division. Earlier we saw the women's division come through with a one point come from behind win over the Lady Chargers from Ch um, Cypress College. Heiler, oh he's short. Oh, Deshaun Heiler wants that one back. Back in the game is Tiambe for Hunt. Second free throw by Heiler, no good. Too far, oh, way up is Malik Muhammad. Puts it off the backboard and good. Oh, Muhammad, big substitution. Pays off for Coach Mosley and the Huskies. They have a two point lead, 60 to 58. Hickman, Mouton, Mouton, oh, flicked out of bounds, deflected out of bounds by the Huskies. 141 left on the game clock, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Nervous time here in the E Arena for the East LA Huskies and the Santa Monica Corsairs. Inbound to Mouton. Tiambe reaches in, no foul. Harris from three-point land, no good, rebound. Knight, Johnny on the spot, he gets the rebound. It goes to Mouton. In the wing to Kimball. He drills in, a three-point play. Kimball has a lucky shot, lucky arm there. They lead 61-60. Big pressure shot, Mr. Clutch for Kimball. Gives the Corsairs the lead, 61-60. <coughs> Henderson puts up a jump shot. Oh, he misses badly. No chance for the rebound. Inside of a minute, Mouton. Crossover dribble, gets it into the front court. And now timeout's gonna be taken. 22 seconds on the shot clock, 52 seconds on the game clock. But Makai Kimball buried a three-pointer from the left corner just to the far end of his bench, and it went through. Give him credit for a huge game. Comes in and gives the Corsairs 10 points in a reserve role, and he picked up eight of those here in the second half. So let's see what Coach Mosley is going to draw up here. There's gonna need, there needs to be a big stop here when they come back out. And on the other hand, the Santa Monica Corsairs can run that game clock, the shot clock down, but there's still going to be plenty of time on the game clock, on the shot clock. Okay, we're getting a little confused with our clocks, but nonetheless, game clock 52, shot clock 22. I hope you've enjoyed our calling of the game for you here. As our first opportunity to cover both the men's and the women's teams for East LA Community College. Both have become a power in the state rankings due to the excellent coaching of John Mosley and for the men and Bruce Turner for the women. And due to their records, they earn first their home court advantage here for the playoffs. Okay, clock is in motion. Moton going to be guarded by Henderson, number 12. Knight, over here to Wilson. Wilson, over here to Kimball. Kimball again, spins. Oh, there's three seconds. Oh, he stepped on the line with 31 seconds left. Big turnover there for the Corsairs. They surely didn't want that, but Kimball just ran out of room. Substitution for East Los Angeles, number one. And Lavelle Ziegler now has been sent into the game here by Coach Mosley. And we're going to have to send the guard down there. That's going to be Alec Hickman along with Ziegler to receive the inbound pass. Hickman has it. Clock is running. 30 seconds. Ziegler has it. 
Ziegler is going to get into the front court. He's going to call a timeout. Huskies now showing uh, two timeouts left. Let's see how the scoreboard will then um, reflect it. It was three on the dribble. Now it should be reading two. And there's one timeout left for Santa Monica. And with that, we're going to step away here for a break and come right back to bring you the last 24.4 seconds of the game. This is East LA Sports Scene Productions. Okay, we are settling back in for a fast and furious roller coaster ride here with the clock showing 24.4 seconds left. The Huskies have it there in front of their own bench. Uh, here it comes now, Ziegler trying to inbound it. Gets it over here to Hunt. Hunt drops it into Muhammad. Muhammad's going to spin. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds by the Corsairs. It's going to be Elak Ball. And Hunt had a great look. Just didn't have the right angle. Game clock now with 17.6 seconds left. Okay, very, very tension filled now here on this inbound play. Tiambe has it. He's gonna put it up here for Heiler. It's gonna be a little short. Nine seconds, eight seconds, and a foul. Oh, Deshaun Heiler had a great look from the three-point line. And he drew, shot it just short, hit the front of the rim, and Bounced into the hands of the Santa Monica Corsairs. And then immediately fouling on the play was the Elac Huskies to stop the clock. Makai Kimball stepping to the line, shooting one and one. 6.8 seconds left. He got it to go. Sixty-two, sixty. Big, big shot here for Kimball. One free throw. Here it comes. Shot is up, it's good. And with that, the Corsairs hold a three point lead at 63 60. And the East LA College Huskies, with only 6.8 seconds left, will have to draw up a play by Coach John Mosley. And it's going to have to be a very, very solid play where the three point shot can be taken. So it's all come down to 6.8 seconds left and the score on the board, Santa Monica 63, East LA College uh, 60. And it's been a tug of war here for both teams as we started the fourth and final quarter. Checked it. Referring to the four quarters in the women's game, I apologize for that, but as time was winding down and we'll call it from the 10 minute mark of the men's game here, Things started to become very interesting as the East LA College Huskies battled their way back in to tie the game and then took a brief lead. But then it went back and forth into the tug of war where both teams were exchanging leads. So here it comes down to the final 6.8 seconds of the game. Solomon Hunt will inbound it. And the Corsairs are going to fall back. They're going to let Elak get into, possibly into, oh no, here they are. They're pressing now. They're going to press. Ziegler has, oh, he's fouled. But is there a timeout call before that? Six point five seconds, not too much time ran off. Yeah. 
So it looked like it was uh, simultaneously a foul and uh, the timeout, but the whistle for the timeout came first. So the difference in the game thus far has been the Santa Monica's bench. Kimball comes in with uh, 11 points and Leandro Knight with five. And Jordan Wilson, five. Uh, Kyle Young had a decent game. Uh, Knight checked out with uh, 10. 10 points for Knight. That was huge. Okay, 6.8 seconds left. Everyone holding their breath here, but the full court pressure on the inbound pass. Oh, it's going to be short, Hunt. Oh, they get it. Ziegler puts up a three-pointer. Oh, it's a buzzer. They got it. Santa Monica will walk away with the win. Then they'll move on. As Ziegler had a good look from the three-point line. And the East L.A. College Huskies will go down to a defeat here by a final score of 63 to 60. And big, big disbelief here from the Husky faithful as the Huskies just weren't able to cash in down the stretch here in the nitty gritty time. And there's a handshake now by the teams, both teams going to the locker room. But the Santa Monica Corsairs will live on to fight another battle. And that should be next week. They will take on, uh, let's call it, um, we'll have to look at the grid to find out who they play for next week. But that will end the season for Coach John Mosey and his team for the men's program at East LA College. So that will do it. We have uh, some unfinished business to take care of here in just a moment, and we'll get to that in a moment. So, signing off for this game, Rico Cabrera Sr., Eric Sarney, Director of Photography, Frankly Robres, Director of Digital Photography. Thanks for watching, and keep watching EastLASportsScene.com on our YouTube channel and on our website. Take care. Be careful, be safe, but more importantly, be back. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.